Hello everyone and welcome back to the Financial Freedom Show. Boy what a week it's been. I hope you all are safe after the hurricane. I actually spent the majority of this week in the hospital so I'm glad to be back. I actually um, I had an issue with my heart. It was atrial fibrillation which means it's like an irregular heartbeat. Um, but it's back to normal now. I'm taking some medicine so hopefully things stay normal. But yeah, I'm just glad to get back into things after this crazy week. We also had the hurricane. And something else major that happened was the SCHD stock split. So going back into my portfolio, one of my biggest holdings is SCHD. Today we're going to be diving into something exciting that's happening with one of my favorite dividend-focused ETFs, the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF. Recently, SCHD announced their three-for-one stock split, which was huge news for current and potential investors in SCHD. In this video, we're going to explain what that stock split means, how stock splits work in general, and what it could mean for your investment in SCHD. So the stock split actually happened as of this morning, the three-for-one stock split. As you can see, SCHD is currently trading for $28.52. And that is down from around $84 or $85 before the split. So before we dive into the specifics of SCHD's recent 3-for-1 stock split, let's take a moment to understand what exactly a stock split is. A stock split happens when a company, or in this case an ETF, decides to divide its existing shares into multiple new shares. For example, in a 3-for-1 stock split, every one share that you currently own is actually going to receive two additional shares, leaving you with three shares total. Sounds simple, right? But there's actually a key point to remember here. While the number of shares increases, the total value of your investment doesn't change right away. The price per share decreases to reflect the split. So no, SCHD did not crash from $85 to $28 when you woke up this morning. It just means that you have more shares in your portfolio. For example, if SCHD was trading at around $85 before the split, after the three for one split, the price per share would be reduced to about $28 what it's at now, and you would have three times as many shares as before. Now let's get to the specifics of SCHD's three for one stock split. As of the split date, for every share of SCHD that you hold, you get two additional shares. So if you hold 100 shares of SCHD before today, you will now have 300 shares today. So let's break it down. So while you'll see more shares in your brokerage account, the value of your investment stays exactly the same. Stock splits don't directly change the value of your holdings. It's like exchanging a $20 bill for two $10 bills. You still have $20, it's just in a different form. Now you may be wondering why would a ETF like SCHD even bother with a stock split if it doesn't change the value of the investment. Well there's actually a few key reasons why stock splits happen. First, stock splits make shares more affordable. When the price per share of a stock gets too high, it can be intimidating for smaller investors to buy in. By splitting the shares, the price of the ETF is reduced, making it more accessible to a broader range of investors. Secondly, stock splits can improve liquidity. With more shares available at a lower price, it's easy for investors to buy and sell shares. This can lead to narrower bid-ask spreads and a more active market for the ETF. And third, stock splits can create a psychological boost, even though the value of the investment doesn't change. The fact that you own more shares can make an investor feel more engaged. It's not uncommon for the stock to see an increased demand after a split due to this perception. Now let's talk about something that dividend investors are particularly interested in with SCHD. How does the stock split affect the dividends? Since SCHD is a dividend focused ETF, this is especially important. After a stock split, the dividend per share will be adjusted to reflect the new share count. In the case of SCHD's 3 for 1 split, if SCHD was paying a quarterly dividend of say 60 cents per share before the split, 
After the split, the dividend would be reduced to around 20 cents per share to reflect the increased number of shares. However, the total dividend payout remains the same. So if you owned 100 shares before the split and earned $60 in dividends each quarter, after the split, you'll own 300 shares, but your dividend share will be lower. In the end, you'll still receive 60 dividends per quarter. It's just divided amongst more shares. So how does this stock split affect investors like you? Well, first of all, the split doesn't change the fundamentals of SCHD or the companies that it holds. It purely is just a cosmetic change. You'll wake up today and see that your portfolio is the exact same value. You just have more shares in your portfolio. However, it does open up the ETF to a wider range of investors, especially those who may have been hesitant to buy in at the higher price. In terms of market perception, stock splits are often seen as a sign of confidence from the fund's managers. It suggests that the ETF is doing well enough that they feel comfortable lowering that price to attract even more investors. Historically, stock splits have been followed by positive price momentum, although this isn't always guaranteed. So if you're already an investor in SCHD, what should you do? The good news is you don't need to take any action. The stock split happened automatically this morning in your brokerage account. After the split date, which is today, you'll see more shares in your account at a lower price. For long-term investors, this stock split could be a great opportunity to buy more shares at an even lower price point. If you believe that the long-term performance of SCHD and its ability to continue delivering solid dividends and price appreciation, this could be a good time to increase your position. So there you have it. SCHD's 3 for 1 stock split is a very exciting development for dividend investors, making the ETF more affordable and potentially opening the door for more retail investors to join in. While the split doesn't change the value of your investment or the fundamentals of SCHD, it could still help boost liquidity and generate market interest in the ETF. So what am I doing while this split happens? I'm just holding and continuing to add to my position in SCHD by dollar cost averaging in. I'm going to be continuing to add to my portfolio over the long term. As you can see, my portfolio has peaked over $40,000 total. And I actually hold a position in SCHD of now 79.872 shares and my estimated annual income is $78 in dividends. I'm looking to increase that over the next couple of years and continue to dollar cost average in there. Um, I wanna get it up to around 5,000 before the end of the year, dollars total invested, which is around 140 shares. Now let's take a look at my performance over the past year. As you can see, I've been steadily adding money into this account I stopped for a little bit in the past couple of months to pay off my mortgage some more. And then this month I actually had my mortgage servicer transfer to a different loan servicer. So I now have an extra uh, payment from my paycheck that I put into uh, SCHD. So it actually increased my portfolio to above 40,000 total. And I have around $5,000 of investment gains so far minus any fees. So total I've put in $26,853 in my portfolio and my ending balance is $39,892. So a lot of that money came from investing actually, which is exciting to see. If we take a look at my income over the past couple months, my income has steadily been increasing from my dividends. I actually switched from TLT back into SPAXX before the drop happened. So I was able to cash out of that and actually make like a $5 gain. So I didn't lose any money on that. Thankfully I cashed out and just stayed in SPAXX. Um, I thought in the other video that maybe interest rates would continue to go down in the short term, but I was wrong. So it just kind of goes to show you that you can't really time the market. You just got to dollar cost average and stay the course and stick to your plans. I mean, don't change your long-term investment goals by just chasing the newest shiny thing. That's something I, I do a lot and I honestly need to stop doing. So 
Um, I'm glad that I was able to get out of that safely and I am now just holding it in SPA XX until um, the future. I mean, I, I don't think I'm going to switch from SPA XX, honestly, just because the price is fixed and it's a lot safer. So hope you guys enjoyed this update video on the stock split with SCHD and what I'm doing. And I look forward to continuing to make videos for you guys. I'll be back again later, uh, early next week with another video. And it's glad, I'm, I'm just very glad to be back and ready to continue to make content. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments how many shares of SCHD you have after the split. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.